Hi guys, today I'm going to be going to Bella Palais Studio to get a chemical pill. So this is going to be my first time doing this. I'm super nervous. So this is the room. It's so cute. I love the vibe. Okay, so these are all the products she's going to be using on me today. PCA skin. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with my skin. I've been like breaking out lately. I don't know if it's from working out, but I'm getting breakout like all under my um, chin, and then I'm kind of getting them here. And I I kind of picked that. Well, I picked up my skin, so I marked it. Yeah, so, so you have a little post-inflammation scarring, a little bit around here, and the last treatment that you had, we definitely um, helped it with the microdermabrasion, so that's going to help it as well. The breakouts here is hormone-induced. Around here, anytime you really get breakouts around here, it's a circulatory system, so you just have to, you know, it comes from your own cigarette smoke, um, alcohol, um, really? So, yeah. Yeah, so we just need to, this you can con control. Um, you I don't want to over exfoliate. I know people feel like with the texture, they want to scrub, scrub, That's scrub. What I do. Then you're going to strip the barrier. So you don't want to strip the barrier, which causes more breakouts because you're taking out the good um, oils that we need in our skin. So today, what we're going to do That's probably is what I'm doing because I bought the, the what is it called? The I think there's a Clarisonic scrubbers. Though. Well, it's like a like silicone brush. one that they sell at Sephora. Which is supposed to be a little bit more gentle on the skin, but you still want to control that by getting, yeah. um, doing more um, cleansers with certain lactic acids is really good for your skin. Um, it gives it that added yeah. exfoliant in a cleanser, so you're not actually really manually um, or mechanically exfoliating your skin. You can do it with more product. So today, that's what we're going to do. So we're doing okay. a chemical peel today. It's going to be the Sensi Peel um, by PCA. It's a gentle chemical peel. It actually um, helps and reduces um, It'll the help. redness of like rosacea. So you know how, how gentle it is, but at the same time, it's going to help with the discoloration. It's going to um, help with the breakouts and um, just brighten, so even, even out the skin tone. And this is a series. So anytime you get any chemical pills, it's not the first time you will see results. Uh -huh. It's more of um, a, a three months, so a three times series. If oh. we're working on you, which is more of the discoloration and just mild breakout. It's more hormonal breakout than anything. You don't have acne. Um, you would do every three weeks. So if we're trying to control the discoloration, every three weeks you would come in for a peel. In between that, you can get a mini facial just to do oh, extractions okay. and all of that. But you definitely want to continue with the regimen every three weeks for the first um, few months, and then you can spread it out to every month. Getting a chemical peel or alternating once you're satisfied with the results, you can alternate facial, chemical peel, facial, chemical peel. Um, every four weeks. Okay, okay. So today, can you, can we, are we able to like do extractions and stuff? Okay, before so the if we do pill? extractions before, it could irritate, so you're opening up the follicle, and because this is a chemical, a 6% TCA that's going on your skin, you don't really want, your first time getting a chemical pill, you don't really want to do that. Okay, um, so let's not. Yeah, following up with more of the um, treatments that you will be getting with the chemical pills, we can even incorporate a microderm with the chemical pills. But that's when we get your skin um, already used to having one. So this is your first time. We're going to start out slow. We're going to just do the full PCA protocol for the Sensi peel. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with the cleansing. So right now I'm just applying some water. Gauging sensitivity, do you have a um, scale of 1 to 10? What do you feel right now? Because this is a type of acid that went on your face. It's a toner. So this is the first degreaser that we do before we actually do the chemical peel. Do you feel anything? Sometimes you feel something. Sometimes people don't feel anything. I, I don't feel anything. I might maybe feel a little tingle here. Okay. Tiny. 
but no, nothing. Awesome. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, gauging sensitivity, where are you at? Um, I can feel like tingling, so maybe like a 3. A 3? Okay. Okay, so are you still feeling any sensitivity? Are you still feeling the tingling? Has it completely subsided? It's gone. It's gone? Okay, perfect. Scale so of 1 to 10, can it be in the highest? Where is your sensitivity? Um, maybe like a two or three. Okay. So we'll drop. Yeah. Okay. A lot of your breakouts, Jessica, is hormonal. It's stress. You can tell on your face the where you're getting the pimples. This right here, the forehead I stress. It. I hate it. This right here, so 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 that means that your the glycosy your circulatory system. It could be your pillow up here too, but it's mainly your circulatory. My pillow. Around. Yeah. Oh. So if you're around. Um, people that are smoking or you like you know have some alcohol or um even even stress will do around your cheeks but more of the circulatory system in the here it's all hormonal so your forehead just always like what i'm eating remember, this right here no it's it's your it's your menstrual cycle it's you just being hormonal so you're going to break oh. out probably all the time in the ovulation period and probably around a few days before your period that's how do you feel is it still tingling uh, it's better You always want to just start off slow and increase because then if you start off too much then you have to reverse the damage and going through all these other series to take off the post um, uh, treatment scarring. So someone can hyperpigmentate from blanching and we don't want that to happen through the chemical pills. Blanching will turn you red or bring the circulation. It'll bring the circulation up. So oh. what some people um, can blanch and then you want to stop. Some doctors actually want you to blanch because it's more of an intense and then you, you really peel. But sometimes when it gets too heated, depending on the skin type, on a Fitzpatrick scale, you can actually um, produce hyperpigmentation. And that's not a good thing. And because of your skin tone and your type on a Fitzpatrick scale, you're around mm, pretty much a 3-4. Um, so certain pills you can't do because it will um, cause, it could cause, I'm not going to say will, because it could cause hyperpigmentation. And a lot of people that do chemical pills, sometimes they want those dramatic results and they don't really do their research enough to know what they can put on the face. Yeah. Because your skin tone especially um, could hyperpigmentate. So do you feel anything at all? Um, no, it's going away. Okay. Certain places felt a little, a little warm, but it's like... So the first pass was like tingly, and then it kind of leads up to like warm spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime it goes to like six, so if it was like your first pass and you went to a six, you spiked to six gauging sensitivity on a scale of one to ten, we would probably... Um, stop the, the the chemical pill and then proceed on with the treatment because um, again we want to do it slowly we don't really want you to be really heated and again because if it's too hot and we just continue to proceed with layers the first time it could possibly maybe um, cause you know hyperpigmentation but since you were you stayed between a level of two three the last one you got to five which is normal you went through the full four passes and now we're going to go on with the um, correcting of it so okay. which is the the putting um, product correcting which is for added exfoliant and to treat any discoloration you have so how do you feel now on a scale of one to ten do you still feel um warm do you feel the tingling like a two a two? Okay, so you're still two. So we're going to still continue to yeah. fan you till you're a zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's better now. It's better. Go to a zero. Okay, so you're going to, you might feel a little bit of a spike with the rejuvenating serum. So this is just going to give you uh, a boost in the treatment, added exfoliant um, on top of the chemical pills. So. So we're going to do a C and E, vitamin C and E strength. This is for um, the brightening effect, the antioxidant in the vitamin C, helps skin from free radicals. 
definitely amazing for fine lines and wrinkles and discoloration. So we're just going to the intense clarity and I'm going to spot treat this one on just your breakout areas. Okay, so I finished with the, um, the treatments. Now we're gonna go on to the moisturizer and the SPF and a little bit of a lip therapy on your lips to keep them very moist and hydrated. Okay. Um, I will be giving you a list after the treatment, a booklet on how to treat for your skin using the post-care kit. And it does say, say in there that you really just don't want to um, work out today, try not to work out tomorrow, um, you know, in the morning because when you get really hot, your face tends to get hot and red and it's going to pretty much what we call reactivate the chemical peel and we don't want to do that because getting hot could cause hyperpigmentation like we've been talking about it through the time. Just for 24 hours. Just for 24 hours. And then also, you don't want, if you take a shower tonight, of course you don't want to wash your face tonight till tomorrow. And then also, just in general, you don't ever want to put your face directly in really hot, hot, hot water. It's really not good for the skin because with the really, with the hot, hot water, I take hot showers. Yeah, all and, the time. and it, it, it's not so good. It can distend the capillaries in your face. So you have those little red veins and some people get them around their nose and on their cheeks. And you know, that's caused by, um, if you see people that are drinkers and that drink a lot, they have them a lot. Like the men, they get their the big noses and with all the veins. And that's because their, their, their body, with the alcohol level that their body gets to, the percentage, it starts to get really hot and it starts to break the capillary walls. So, with that said, you just don't want to really put your face directly into hot, hot water. Yeah. Ever. Anyways. I always don't want to have to stop doing that. Yeah. So, after this, we're going to go outside and I'm going to give you the post-care kit and some information on how to treat your skin. Okay, after your chemical. So don't okay. put nothing on it. No, the rest you're of the day. good to go till tomorrow. Okay, and then we'll talk about it. Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my uh, chemical pill. It was a light chemical pill um, as I was really nervous to get anything strong done to my skin. I've had a lot of friends who have gotten chemical pills done and it was just so strong. Either one of my friends had a little bit of acne and she did it and her skin just broke out so bad. It freaked all of us out. So I was really nervous about it, but um, lately with like working out, I've been but late, I'm peeling here. But lately with working out, I've been breaking out a little like on the side of my cheek, if you could see. Um, so the chemical peel has actually really helped lighten out uh, my marks. And also when I was pregnant, I didn't get, um, I didn't get like too many sunspots, but you know, if you can kind of see, I did get some here. So I'm hoping that this treatment helps my skin. Um, I'm going to keep doing it. I really was happy with the results of it so far. Okay. So anyhow, my skin is just like shedding and shedding. It's starting to shed more now that I'm going on day three. The first day when I came home from getting my um, chemical pill done, my skin was just glowing. It looks, it looks so great. And then the next day, same thing. It was still glowing so nicely. Um, and then towards the end of, uh, towards the end of the second day I started to peel a little and ever since then I've been peeling like more and more so I think today I've peeled the most but it's not like you're not peeling so much that you can't go out and do things okay just to give you guys a little insight on my skin you can kind of see like all my nose is peeling mm, I had like this little dark mark here and it's all peeling my whole um chin everything is just like peeling off like my forehead you can see I feel like once you use the post treatment products you can't even tell your skin's dry um, so the products I'm using are from PCA skin and these products are used to like hydrate and soothe the skin after you have any sort of PCA um, treatment especially a chemical pill so I was advised to use these products until the peeling has been resolved so typically it's around three to five days um, and if and for those of you that have you know way more sensitive skin you should probably use them for like about 10 days 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to sharing, um, you know, some more skincare uh, treatments that I get done and just, you know, sharing my experience and answering any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video and also if you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you guys.